A charity event was held at the Polo Grounds in Indio today. This is the start of the polo season here in the desert. KMIR's Corbin Baker was there and has this story. I'm here at the Empire Polo Club, and today the theme seems to be polo and extravagant hats, but all for a good cause. Today is our annual event called Hats and Horses, and uh, it is a fundraising event for the Muses and Patronus Circle okay, of the McCallum Theater. We raise money to provide arts and education to over 40,000 students now, in the Coachella water. Valley. When planning the first annual Hats and Horses, Sandra Hill stressed the importance of making charity events like this one fun for everyone in attendance. This is an exciting event for us because it brings us together in a fun way to raise money and I think that any time that you raise money okay, it should be a fun activity for everyone involved. The idea for what turned out to be a large event stemmed from just a small friendly gathering with a common fashion theme. This is a, an annual event that we started as a hat affair, which was sort of a ladies' luncheon with hats, and I don't wear hats. <laughs> Sandy says that along with a fun-filled day, the polo match itself provides the most excitement, including watching her favorite player. This is going to be a fun, this is a fun event. We've got a game going on right behind me right now. And Carlos just scored. It's really very exciting to see the, the coordination between horse and rider and the, the enthusiasm to get that ball down between the goal line. Now, along with today's charity event, the polo match itself kicks off the polo season, and it will be held here and over at the El Dorado, also in Indio, every Sunday from now until March 30th. In Indio, I'm Corbin Baker, KMIR News.